guys and welcome back to some more earthbound in the last part um uh, to saturn valley after we were told to go to saturn valley in the dream and that's got a massive upgrade this part um go and we're going to uh go see what we're up to in let's just say this is gonna be a massive finale you know, I think this playthrough has gone well, except for a couple instances recordings and, uh, and, like, um, I really think as far as, like, some mic issues in the early portions of this playthrough and, like, some one of my better playthroughs, I was, I'm glad I was able to go in all this, but, um, basically what I'm trying to get across is that, uh, I'm glad I was able to sh this game. And this is going to be a massive, and I mean massive. Sorry, Dr. Nuts. Yeah, the Mrs. Sounds are incredible folk, and this application is a different than other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase disorder has been stolen. Just took Mr. Sound and Captain and stole the device. Listen, everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Nuts, Mrs. Sound, and I worked together and finally completed the phase. Enables means to travel through space and time. This prototype can only travel to different parts of the same but the location of enemies. Right now, it's indicating the presence of enemies in the lost world. First, but I could be wrong. Plus, there's some broken. Let's give the broken harmonica to Jeff. There are some broken items we can fix for Jeff, but I'm just trying to double check. No, but um, I do think we have to heal either. Yes, we have 735 HP for Ness. The is the most Well, anyway, the Velvet Rush has. Yeah. Um, if we try going in. It doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that material cannot be normally found on the meteorite. Well, I felt when I was much younger. See the meteorite? Yes, we did at the very beginning of the game. With even just a piece of meteorite, I can synthesize the materials. I doubt that your mortal enemy, Guy, guess, or whatever, will allow you to go to on it. I just have to load a list for a second. By the way, by now, now um. Onet is in his evil hands. You must go, though. So take it. Just some of their new valves at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like. I already. They're basically doing what I already recommended: give night penance to. Uh, and uh, yeah. So um, yeah. Now, let's just use teleport bay right now. But we're gonna go to Onet. And yeah, on it does look a little different. It's very much like it did at the beginning of the game. It's also another reason I basically recommended giving Paul and Jeff the night pennant. Because this is a late stage portion of the game, but um... The enemies are also going to be much, and I mean much. This is the finale, but it is going to be a little, like, interesting piece. These are the, uh, evil Octobots. Now, about the mechanical Octobots, they have a 1 in 120 chance of dropping the men. So, um, yeah, and, uh, these evil eyes, you want to take... They know, they can actually, uh, give you, uh party members, even if you have the night pennant. So, uh, yeah. Take these out. That doesn't feel like some damage. You can also, whenever you're badly damaged, you can also like house. Make a lot of problems. So, uh, we didn't get any, uh, single time, but, uh, 
If you're badly injured, you can heal at Ness's house. Oh, and this is the Ghost of Starman, and uh, let me... They have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the Goddess Ribbon, which is the best ribbon. Ooh, very careful about... The they know PSI Starstorm. So how... That, uh... I use a life... I just, I just put up a life up and... I usually put up a life up in case, uh, they, they go first. I put up a, uh, shield, uh, I put up this shield right here. After Jeff and Pooh. First. But they, they're very much- Thank God we got protected. So yeah, that's basically how you want to- and they also have the chance of going first, which is also why I recommend using the healing. Then recharge and then try to use Star Storm. Their gimmick. Missy Smile. Oh yeah. Um, that is basically Flash Beta. Which Another reason I would recommend getting the Night Pennant. Ghost Army was defeated. And Jeff with Paralysis. It was Paralyzed. Miracle I forgot was totally scrapped. Yes, so, um... All in all, it was 66. Offense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. Max is speed up by 1. Who's now level 61? Offense went up by 1. Max is speed up by 1. Max is speed up by... The game, Ness is essentially going to be your main healer. Where... And, uh... Basically, uh, that, um, be an, an offense, or both of physical and, uh, offensive, what I mean. We do have to take and kill party members. And yes. All the damage and yeah, they're dodging quickly. Kampala, thank God. It was totally scrapped. This is now level 76. Oh baby, offense went up by four, defense went up by one. Guts went up by two. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by two. Max went up by two. Max So yeah, we're gonna eat these battles. I don't wanna fight three of these assholes. Okay, that was a bad battle party. Jeff's now level 63, speed went up by one, guts went up by two, I killed by one, max is Yeah, we have to do some healing. So healing Omega on Paula. Healing Omega on Jeff, Mega on Pooh, and because they, they this is another reason I level because uh, yeah, you can be literally screwed out of some of these battles if you don't get the uh, upgraded magic end. Alrighty, so now we are, uh, we're starting to get warm. And then, offense went up by one, speed went up by one, guess went up by one, but went up by one. Three, max speed went up by one. Who's in level 62, offense went up by two, defense went up by two. By one, max speed went up by two, max speed went up by one. We're starting to get a tad bit warmer. We're starting to, there's the meat, there's the meat. There's something. Sh <laughs> Ness got the meteorite piece. I'm finding a little bit of room, like around this area. I try using teleport back to uh, Saturn Valley. However, we're gonna do that quite yet. Beta to get back to deep darkness. 
You may be wondering why the hell I'm going to bed. Yeah, it's a fail. I don't normally get teleport bait to fail. We don't have much. Yeah, we're going to get into deep darkness. And yeah, we're out of our net. Deep darkness because uh, we want to get some multi bottle rockets. Let's see what we can get rid of. We don't need the salt packet. We don't need lucky coin. And we don't need. We don't need the uh, guest capsule and we don't need the uh, jerky. We're just gonna fill Jeff's inventory. Basically, this is your last chance to go to the end of the the last area in the game. So, multi bottle rockets for Jeff because we are a loss. We're getting warmer in terms of it. Um. So yeah, when it comes to uh. One more multi bottle rocket for Jeff. Alright, so now now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna for real this time. Now we're back at Saturn Valley's heal a bit. Something I recommend doing. As a save point, if you want to go back to the valley, because um, let's just say we're traveling through time. We want to travel through time and not and not have to be stuck there. Now, there's also more items I want to get. We're going to go to the Saturn Valley shop. We're basically arming ourselves up for the grand finale. Last chance to get items. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get the, uh, we're going to get a couple of horns of life. Let's see what he can... I believe he can get more... Um... That's it. If I can get some, uh, PP healing... Um, let's see what this... Let's see what the guy with... This guy has to say. Make sure you get some piggy jellies and make sure you get a lot of them. Because they heal PP and like um they just make the last We're just gonna fill Ness's inventory with this shit. Maybe get some some for Paula too. Yeah, so we we're for the game because we are going to now travel through time. And Anyway, so we're going to, uh, give him it. Ah, uh, yes! I've not actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright, leave everything. This is gonna be the slash thing. There is you rest before all this, or applying that. So yeah, we're gonna... And, uh, yeah. These will... ...get into the end of the game. Or version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological punches. Don't be as afraid to get it right in. Here's one thing though. You might not be able to return. So okay, are you ready to go? Yes. 
Even if you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, you should be as possible. Be for the best. Without careful preparation, you'll be in big trouble. I want to make sure. Wait. They're making sure you get all the weapons throughout before you go here. Because they're basically hyping it up. Here you go. Anyway, so they're basically uh, hyping it up. So, um. In that phase disorder, you can never come back. Greetings, so you're finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There's only one a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go. He became a PSI Star Storm, which is the best Star Storm in the game. Can't read Greek alphabet, I really can't. Kidnapped, I was doing. Guy comes home, way to the past, ding ding. Near. The phase of the story has been completed. The incredible scientific cell. Guy gets his attack from our exact location, but he's attacking from. So, yeah, we. This game also involves time travel. If it's. You must work with the path of fight. We have to talk to. It's hard for me to tell you, but. In order to defeat Guy, who was attacked from the past, you must work to the past. Way of the phase of sword three. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life is demolished from the process in the process of warping. No way to accomplish time travel. Into a robot, then send the robot to the past. The transfer means your spirit will go. To the body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle. Saying that you're before you are the chosen ones, you still wish to face God. Yes. Hmm, you accept this whole knowing that you may not be able to turn to your current form, right? Yes, I see. Really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that. Ready, stand by. Ness, Paula, who? Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Ness, and thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. Only a few people know of your amazing day through the bravery's immense. I feel very fortunate to be present being in this monumental. And pass. The phase and order can repair. They can auto repair. They can call your dad and uh, save. Um, basically, have a fair warning though. If you save here and didn't get any, you could be screwed. This is why I've been warning. Multi bar rockets. All of that has been building up to this. With the phase disorder, you cannot go back to the end of the game. There are also some new enemies. Let's see if we can encounter at least one. Anyway, this is the uh, Squatter Demon. I didn't one. This is basically like the tent, except stronger. Jeff dodged quickly, thank god. But yeah, this one in the game and um, the Paul's getting our PSI, and like, um, Paul does. 
I think I'm even going there. Bargain was defeated, yes. Anyway, so... Sorry, we already we already um saw and uh, we are on it on that much like the alternate on that you get a second chance and good no uh good what the hell am I trying to say no I'm So yeah, next prominent party member at this point. Jeff's now level 64. Oh baby, I can't up by Vitality went up by one. Oh baby, IQ went up by three. Luck went up by two. So yeah, the, the, these uh there's gonna be new sets of Go in the cave of the past. Ah, new enemy. These are the nuclear reactor robots. In the bits looks much like the uh, variants we saw in the Stone Edge Bay, so um just warning now. Too much PP, because you might need it for the final boss. Maybe conserve a bit of PP of fall. Maybe you Naga, which maybe I didn't realize fully, but um Yeah. Oh, these are new enemies. I'm gonna give them the bucks though. They don't have. They don't have a chance. They don't have any items. So, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, whenever you're back, just use uh, just use Ness to heal everyone, and he's still a luck cap. PP, just use those mad those uh just use those you should have gotten in uh Saturn Valley. Yeah, they they will just keep healing themselves. No matter how many times you heal yourself, but I'm just throw insanely high before in the game, so he'll see a you'll see a lot of smash attacks. Heck, we're gonna get that smash attack. We are gonna get that smash attack. Let me see freeze beta with a uh, poo. Well, thankfully his body solidifies. I killed him. Anyway, seven. Max HP up by two. Max HP up by one. Approaching the end of the game. Thank God. You know I. True, really because I really got to go in depth with this game and like how to like uh. First playthrough, and like, um, even if you wouldn't say still some problems with it, I'm glad with how it turned out because, uh, people really like, oh shit. Wow, we just, uh... No! Oh, no! I really thought I was going to do, like, um... Well, it's not gonna fucking work on Ness no matter how many times you use it. Let's see, use... 
I'm, I'm fine with only Ness and Paul getting the XP. I just want. The Starman, and hopefully, I should take it out. Yeah. Just when I thought I was going to, um. No. So, uh, we just need to get we just need to get Jeff back. X noodles. I think I do with in, in Ness's inventory. Um, yeah. So we're gonna Jeff and Paula will use. We have to fully revive two because uh, these. Uh, Like I said, this is basically I have a night pendant throughout the course of this playthrough. I've basically been hyping it up to there, your whole party can get instant knockout. You, I could not have used that at a better time. We're gonna use the piggy je jelly on Ness. Yeah, that's um, that. Oh yeah, that heals HP, not FP. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna give Paul of that. We're gonna give Paul of that. One hundred fifty-six to one hundred and ninety-six. Let's go. I've gotten that at a better time. Now let's just... We're gonna save up our usage of, uh, Healing Omega. I got the Goddess Ribbon. I got the Goddess Ribbon. This is the strongest bat Ness can get in the normal game, aside from 120. I got the Goddess Ribbon! Level 68, 120 by 2, defense 1 by 2. Yay, more defense! Max HP up by 2. That rocks. Max HP up by 8. Who's on level 63? Defense went up by 2. Max HP up by 3. Max HP up by 2. Now, as we get closer and closer to the... Let's give another thing. Another thing I recommend, I almost... Pollen is equipped with the Franklin badge. The final boss knows PSI Lightning. But we are we're gonna use this magic butterfly and um this is around longer enemies. I don't know, your Starstorm trick don't work on me anymore. Jeff's not all but one by two. And uh yeah, we're gonna use a uh, This is more battle. Yeah, this is around the tipping point where the enemies are here are gonna start getting stronger. Anyway, this is the final star man. Ones are gonna have shields. They also know Star Storm. Let's take up a lesser threat first. Um Oh shit. Oh, here we go again. I really should just do play it safe. I gonna get it. I'm not gonna Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no! Keep on auto fight, let's keep on auto fight. Jim's gonna hurt me. Alright, uh, I'm in a. You know what we're gonna do? Let's put out. Actually, no, we can't. We can't. This is a uh, fuck. Yeah, fuck you. 
Until we know these assholes are out. No! Taking you out first. I gotta turn on a fight to make the text go by. I might like miss the most in the game over. I am not getting a. I am not getting a game over. Thank you. Give me a smash attack. Give me a smash attack. Give me a smash attack. Thank you. God, that was an awful battle. Let me off one by two, guys. One by one, but it's not by one. I see one by eleven. I believe you got our last. Uh, okay, uh, we need a horn of life on the final. Last one of life on uh, Paula. We're gonna have to use healing. We're gonna have to use a. Uh, I'm just gonna play it safe. This guarantees Jeff gets a pain in the ass of a battle. And this one was simple. <laughs> and this one was more simple. Yeah, I didn't even have to cut out the foot. That one was more simple. Simple battles. Okay. Not a 128 item, but I can. Who's not a little 64? Oh, baby. Offense went by five. Oh, baby. Defense went by four. Battalion by two. Well, I'll keep by one. Luck went by two. Max went by 24. Max. Alright, uh. Only two. Healing beta. Life up beta. So, um. We're gonna need. EP for Ness. No, no, no. Okay, it's not a... It's not a star. My man cut out this bell. It's not a star, man. It if, you, if you come at... They warned you in the, this game, too. If you come at... If, get fucking ass kicked. There's one more remaining enemy we have not seen, but, um... So, like, um... Yeah, well, That's the thing. We might not have seen it. Oh, it's also a 128 item. You can encounter the Bionic Kraken. Stronger, it's the thing we can- we found in Magic Ant. They have a- Drop in the Gutsy Bat. Which is the strongest thing net. However, we are at the final boss, so we can't I can't necessarily sh risk showing it. Now, there's a little theory about this game thing. Between a little thing from becoming a living thing in the past from its birth. It was a fan theory for many years that this was guy guess coming out of the Boy has confirmed that that theory is false. So, um, he says, but we are basically the fan theory is we're entering the womb. Denied it. I don't believe it. This is it. Earthbound. We have made come a long way, but this is the final boss of Earthbound. Me pokey, I assist only the strong and able. That's pokey, you guys look pathetic. The can But I won't let the other direction predict to take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygus. Now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict. He's no longer the wielder of evil. The wielder of evil. He's become the embodiment of evil. 
from the evil power. This is Guidance and the Heavily Armored Pokey. Also, I should point out, but, um... Yeah, um... Has a sh has won a really strong shield, so he cannot take either or fizzle attacks. So you have to attack the ever. I'm fair now. However, if you use paralysis, work on the heavily armored pokey. It doesn't it's not a guarantee. And if you're gonna use Paul, use one of these. Yeah, make sure. And use a multi ball rocket with Jeff. And use a life up in case I don't Paul because she's the most vulnerable. So that's how you want to spend the first turn. Look at that. Thing. So yeah, Pokey, heavily lower stats a lot. And it's become numb, which means it is completely useless now. Ball rockets you found throughout the course of uh, the, the throughout in deep darkness, because you can just go all in with multi bottle rockets and just go all in with freeze uh, and uh, multi bottle rocket and uh, freeze. Because, uh, let's just say, it'll also attack Gaius and will also deflect your attack. So yeah, that's the reason I recommend putting up a shield. Well, here's another thing. There's gonna be another fit that will know Flash Beta. There's... I cannot recommend... Knife pennant to Paula to make this an easy. I cannot stress this as hard as possible. If knife pennant and the Franklin badge, this will be an easier experience. Great. You should be almost dead, seriously. Just go all in with the heavy armor poke. We're almost out of PP or poo, so like, uh, these betas. So, yeah, you know, PSI Mario beta that recommended putting up a shield. And that's- I understand you guys are already claiming it's really to oppose Gaius. Mess with Lady Superman, I would even know him. Well, Gaius looks- Look at her fear. You'd be able to run your way. That's how scary- On the Devil's Machine will appear to be amazed. This is when it gets weird. So isn't this terrifying? Anymore, and he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you will be just another meal to him. We're just gonna use a. Uh, why don't we show up? Time to show off our remaining attacks. We're just gonna. Rocket and, uh. Why don't we show off Starstorm? We can't show off Starstorm. We've got this Flash Beta. Did not work on Gaius. 
Capri's attacks and he'll go. This is basically the next phase of Guy, I guess. Ness, you can have a grass form fast attack. Do not have work. Right, that was flash beta right there. It knows flash beta. As long as Paula has to worry about Paula instantly dying, just give it to both Paula and Jeff, and you should. Yeah. Please. Let's just defend with Jeff. Jeff! We can't use multi ball rockets. Yeah, this is the Thunder. As long as the attack, another reason I recommend giving it to Paula. <laughs> you must. This is bizarre to mention you're four, the only force fighting for justice, and you stand to the garbage in this universe. <laughs> That's so sad, I can't even shed a tear. You know, my heart is being. This is being an absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? Haha. <laughs> you know, say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I'm thinking I'm going to wet my pants. You know, you have telepathy, Thompson, but just try to call for help. You pathetic, weak heroes of so called justice. Help you now. Ha ha. Ha ha. Don't worry, your pitful suffering will be over soon. Now, they gave us a hint on what to do. Pray. I didn't use the pray feature much in the game. You pray. You have to use pray to beat Gaius. Now, if that wants to tell a story, but that actually big creator signature after a toy's real life experience, a childhood experience of a movie in a movie theater that involved people's limbs getting cut and it traumatized him. Scenes of people. Basically, we're gonna see cutscenes of people throughout the game, and uh, mess. All of the Mr. Sounds found a new starting feeling. And they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. I guess his defenses became unstable. Welcome to phase three of Gygus. We have to pray in order to. As long as you have the night pennant, you should be fine. And because Paul will just flat out not take damage unless he's Um, if you manage to get the goddess ribbon, that also helps, and we think. There's the Runaway 5. One of the Runaway 5 felt some stop him. And he prayed for Avius and say Friends. So we're going to again and defend defend just two are pretty much healing with Ness if Paula gets damaged and uh praying with Paula there's the Polestar preschool Some of heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. Right. Defend. Oh. 
Oh, this is the uh, winner's boarding school. Look, there's Jeff. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff. Jeff and his friends. It hurts. Ness, friends, you can have the flash beta. Thankfully, it didn't work. Not so far. No one's dead yet. Wait a minute. I shouldn't keep. Oh shit. Okay, thank God we haven't had we haven't had anyone killed. Someone can get killed because he can't have he can't equip the night pennant. There's the lamb. A young woman in Delam woke from a dream which pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. So defend, pray, defend, defend. Friends, Ness, 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 Another flash beta thing. There's the on it. There's the on it. Some um, place and there's the uh, vegetable soup lady. <laughs> Damages him, and this is the only way guy gets hit damage. <laughs> Wait for for an attack. Oh, Paul's virus is solidified. Wait for that. So yeah, this is why Ness needs to be the healer. Don't. We were doing good. And another one of those physical attackers. Terribly uneasy. She began to begin to pray for the safety of her son and her friend. The ultimate part of Gaius. Final thing. Is basically gonna. It's basically gonna be. This is probably the. Like, if you thought Earthbound was already a bizarre game, look at all, look at all this. Joke almost fucked up my eyes the first time I played through this. Please help us. By the darkness. Can you hear me? Please give us strength. 
Bond of Friends called to, calls touch the heart of. Ah, pray for the kids having never. Even Burr kept praying. Kept praying. And finally, Bear kept praying. It's whatever. In that point in the game. Yes, now I will. It's going to seem like I'm running away, but I'm sneaking away. I bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you... The war against Gygus is over. I must return to Dalam and use experience for the good of my country. Ness Paul. I should have strange power for I go. I realize the power of the child. PSI fair. I'll see you again someday. Paula Ness, it really was. I'm glad that I had a chance to use some of the theories that I've been studying so hard. If, just maybe, well, if the TV one that fixes your broken electronic appliances, I'm going to see Dr. Internets, I mean, for my dad. So it looks like this is a good...
Um, I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get- Anyway, I'm gonna- Slow down, so, um, incredible, excellent. I'm not quite sure for it, but congratulations on job. Let's get together and let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we can play horseshoes, too. The chance of the guy- Playing was 99%. However, you could produce a 1% chance that guy has failed. I was trying Great called courage. We open the present, and uh, there is a letter from mom or from kids. They're gonna basically represent each of the remaining. Let's read the letter from mom first. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home, you for example, I don't have much laundry, also, you don't really seem to eat candy as much as we use. Get some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. Tracy, Sparky, and I are waiting for you. Love a mama. Get letter from the kids. Dear Paula, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me. Play with the freaking Pole Star Preschool. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you haven't. To the Pole Star Preschool. Letter from Tony. Really great here. I wish I could have gone to the match or even just part of the way. For you winners. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. Come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. You're truly Tony. Letter to anyone. It was fun hanging out to A miracle. A miracle has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime of stress while you were. Could have come as a robot. I wish I could sure use the face sword. What a story that could would have been. <laughs> I want to show what some of the characters. This is one of my favorite designs of any ending in an RPG. You. What anyone in the game is up to after you defeat Guy. I guess I just want to show. First, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to four. I just want to show what I think are the highlights. Remember that place where we uh, we turned four side to moon side. Even myself and experienced players, sometimes I'm right up by the way. Oh, there, there's the cafe. That's Mr. Minch. Sorry about the other day. The sidewalk cafe is probably. I'm talking to Mr. Minch. If you seem to have to shake better care of father, don't tell my wife and I that I'm spending my time here. He lost all his money he gained in Foresight and basically this bar. That's kind of gonna. I'm gonna kind of. And the next thing we're gonna do. Okay, so that was weird. My laptop speakers went out. I just. Yeah, so uh, what we're gonna do also next is go to Winners. I go to winners. See, good old Tony. Tony, after the events of the game, talking to him. Jeff just called. Good doctor, anyways. You, you about make a beautiful life for everyone. Ah, uh, no, so my husband late these days. He says he's very busy. I know he's out saving the earth, but marriage is also important. Call me. Maybe he thinks I'm too annoying, but I don't think so. Ness, did you tell him not to call me? No, I know you wouldn't. Please, please ask him to call Tony, thanks. So, that's the Tony portion. And, uh, first thing we can kinda do, um, we're here to. Actually, I, I take the Tucson part back. We're not gonna go to Tucson. We're gonna go to Delam. Not fair. But we are gonna go to Delam. Once we go to Delam, um, we can and we can actually see Pooh. He basically just goes back home to Delam. You're here we for a while. 
but I'm impressed. You did so well for one who hasn't had basically acts as a healer, and he basically goes back to being Prince of- I really like this ending, because- of the journey, so, so like, I really do like how this ending is designed- The NPC is up to at the end of the game. We're not gonna see all of them, but- Fine, we're gonna go to Tucson and finally deliver Paula home. What I think is the saddest part of the ending. Paula was the. I think it's the saddest when she uh, has to go back to the pulsar. Love this music also. It's a remix of the four side theme that's called "Because I Love You." The end of the game. This is a super sloppy. Clean it somehow. The you know she is deep in a world class adventure. Must be our plus. Orange kid. Is he home? Let's talk to him. They never invested in my genius, did you? You had no idea what I could do, Chortle. You sorry. Interesting. But yeah, Apple Kid was the very if we go in his house or something. Yeah, his house is completely empty. And if we he's fine. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you about for yeah, well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. You can go in the Polestar Preschool, however. Thank you for saving Paul. You are my hero. When I grow up, I want to meet you. Oh, that's just... Yeah, this is the same dialogue as the beginning of the game. I last saw you last night. Paul must have quite a I'm glad you live so close to us. Why are you not by? Andy. Yeah, so this is also how Ness matures throughout the adventure. Young man, my opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Paul. I just treat her right. Except when the room comes in, the one in the den. Nothing to Paul. You could choose whether to believe it or not, but we can go to Paula. I mean, what is Paula worried about you? But where's the fun in that? What? Distance. To Onyx. It's not that far a walk, and plus... Nothing else out. There are no more enemies. Yeah, I guess. There's... Beat the bosses in the um in in one of my friends at the museum. However, I don't. I never knew how to pull it off. Another day, but um, we're just gonna walk. Now, before we go to Ness's house, there's one last. I if I can find my way out of Tucson. Okay, now I know. Um, where are we back on it? Let's. You know what? I've never tried this before. Let's see what. Is it nice or even there? Oh, you never picked. We still can't pick it up. Hamburger. You never gotten less than necessary. Sounds lucky. Please take my son. Uh, before, so I know. What does the kid have to say? I live around facing them. That's the same thing as before. However, um, that's about the last of uh, what we can what, walk all the way back to. Um, now before we go, we're gonna visit. We're gonna pay the Minch family a visit now that Pogi said. And that Mr. Minch lost all his money. We he and Mrs. Minch are up to. That's the last thing. And credits. Beautiful movie. This is a beautiful game. Oh, might not be. I hope this playthrough can be a good first impression of the game. 
They, hey, there's this guy. Sa salutation to the boy millionaire. Tell me about it. Well, live and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. Oh, you're wearing your grubby. So what do you want? My son isn't at home now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is... Mr. Pretty Man. He always has a great advice. He's a real gentleman. Yes, you'll be happy. He's whole family separated after the guy gets events. We talked to Picky. I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. You look, I'm nowhere near... Pinky's there, Mrs. Mench. Pokey's nowhere to be found, and... Bar and four sides, so yeah. Very dark ending to the Minch family. Antagonist, pretty much. Go to our house. We got the phone. Soy Club. Yo, it's the Lazy Choco song. We need a truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The place shut down ages ago. I totally remodded the place. Now we got loud music, great food, great. I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just stop by any time. I come, you come, you. Hey. That actually. My pizza. Hell is. Wait. So we decided to close the shop. Thank you for your constantly using us for all your pizza needs. How's your dad? Tell you get to the next level. Ha! Huh, I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be a big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I'm following your adventures close. Then you sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'm, I'll see you at home then. Uh, Barky. Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know you guys saved the world. Final thing. Let's see what Tracy has to say. You never think back. You got a lot of catch up with your schoolwork, York. So if you have any. Yeah, did you ask her to my old company help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing. Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help anything on your schoolwork? Yes. We act like Excargo Express. This is point in it. Consider this a post game because um, I should get to do some stuff. Wow, you've been such a strong young man. I like, you know all your. You walk through the door. After all, you chat with people and on your venture finally out. I'm gonna drop an album by. I like I talk out with you. Yes, okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experience with me. You did so well. Earthbound. A fantastic game, in my opinion. Honestly, shocked this only took a little over 30 parts because, um, Earthbound is massive for, for a Super Nintendo game, so, like, um, I thought it was gonna take some, like, 60 or 70 parts to cover everything, but the video's longer, like, uh, yeah, it's like, I really enjoyed making this place. Best of my playthroughs, but I didn't. This is the one I. This is also a little cast of all the characters that we see throughout the game. It's Paul, Paul, and uh, yeah. Here's, here's Apple Kid. But yeah, I really very. So I'm gonna take a week, make a few days off before I, so I can prepare the next playthrough. But is the happy, happiest? But um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna take a few days off, and I game. It's definitely definitely give a re-release a try. Whether it's like the SNES classic, the Switch is probably what most people are going to play. But like, uh, I'm, I'm I think I thought this playthrough was essentially a. Uh, Though the that like either heard the game, never played it once. Designed to like if you've never played the game before, how to pop. And I thought it turned. I thought I succeeded in that regard, much like how I did with Nijora's. Is this like this is like a first impression? 
say my first impression, but your first impression on how to properly play the game. Old Town is like fantastic. Means a lot of core players, a lot of power together. It's like it's a very unique game that Nintendo made, and like um, they don't really appreciate. Like, there's Mother 3, which has yet to get a, re a release overseas. I've never played it because I can't, I don't want to play, I don't want, I don't like pirating games. And Blue Pong Beginnings, which is Mother 1, which I have played and beaten. For that someday, maybe I won't, but uh, I have to put a bit of practice in this. That has different mechanics than this game. Yeah, and Shigesato Atoya has also said there won't be a Mother 4. Yeah, three games are pretty much all yet. There's been two and uh, Mother 1, but never Mother 3. Which is apparently better than this game, and like Mother 3 is like Nintendo's like big. And they won't even do it. Oh, look, this Ness. Isn't this game grew with, with reputation over time? Because Ness is playable in the Smash Bros. series, so it's Mother 3 gets reputation grown, but like, um... ...is, uh, Rayman Legends, because, um, that one people like... ...so... The picture guy. I think this is This is a very beautiful credit sequence. It's all throughout the game. There's all the pictures. Toy and uh, the game was written, produced, and uh, which uh, really the mother series was his vision. But uh, there's the uh, thing is uh, one of the reasons I cried like when uh, Satori Wada died. That's because he worked on this game, it's one of the first games he ever worked on, and like, um, I don't when Satori Wada went from like an, a little like underground developer to president of Nintendo, I've always thought he had an interesting life and it cancer and died, which this was almost a decade ago. And I still way. This makes it a thing has been throughout the game. This is essentially a uh, mo the credits camera thing of every photo you got in the whole game. We definitely tried this game, and it's definitely popped here in terms of Super Nintendo games. Had a disadvantage also of coming out late in the Super Nintendo's lifespan, like five, and like the and the Sega Saturn was about to be released, and so it was the PlayStation later. So like, yeah. So I guess it's also at a disadvantage. Of lifespan, same with like Conker's Bad for a Day with uh, N64. But there really isn't any Super Nintendo game, I think, that he's in the Super Nintendo library, like Final Fantasy VI, and, uh... And this has charm, but, like, they don't have the charm this has. Because, like, most RPGs, this is a real-world setting. It's going to be influential with, like, um... With, like, Undertale, or even... Re even like recent games like Baldur's Gate 3 might have been influenced, might have taken some influence from that. Despite the hype that has.
Ato okay a toy. I never noticed that in the credits. God, that is such a trip down memory lane. Remember that? Remember this? So we had Pooh in our point. We even had the teddy bear because we had the teddy. We had the super bluff. Like, uh, yeah, they definitely uh. This is a mystery how they were able. It says like uh these credits like how to pro because like um game designer, so like, um... And, uh, remember this? That fucking arrow almost made me rage quit this game? Ah, uh, there's Satori Wada again in the credits. He was the co-producer. Oh, and the supervisor was Miyamoto. I or I probably did, but like, um... Presented by Nintendo and associated with Ape... Also, it was co-developed by Hal, who did the, uh, Kirby series. Pretty much how Satori Wada worked on this game. And... Player Bear. That's pretty much what you put your name as. A post credit scene. Hey, I'm getting some deja vu. Let's see what Tracy says in this final cutscene. Right, that is definitely deja vu. That's right. That's very much deja vu and beep. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It's addressed in the mail. It's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, "Come and get me, loser." It's making me. It's. The end. So, found. I'll see you guys next time.